Today we're going to install a brand new crankshaft positioning sensor on this 2013 Ford Mustang GT 5.0. Just made a video of removing the old one. Here is the replacement part number and let's just go ahead and grab it and we're going to put it into place. Alright and I threw on a glove because this is fiberglass here. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is. Anyways, it's fiberglass. I hate that stuff. And this sensor is going to go right down in there right next to that blue cable all the way straight down so just do your best to get it in there uh, look at all that shiny stuff all right you just want to line everything up and start threading in that bolt i know it's kind of hard to see but i am able to get it done all right i got it hand threaded in as much as possible it's straight down there now we have to connect this pigtail into place it looks like the lock is going to be facing the engine block, so going forward. So you just want to have this pigtail basically like so, and then clip it in. We'll secure that sensor down right now. Hear that clip? That clip. And I am going to be using an 8 millimeter long socket, uh, deep socket with a couple extensions here. To be able to reach in here, it is a pretty tight spot, like I said. And there it is. And I pretty much have threaded it in all the way. I'm gonna secure this down. Here's my ratchet. And this does not have to be overkill. I'm tightened. Perfect. That's it. All right, and we're ready to put our battery back into the battery tray here. All right, once you have the battery in here, we'll grab the strap and there is a small little hole where this bolt is going to go through. Let me move my light this way. There's the hole and we'll put that in there and we'll use the eight millimeter to secure this down. All right, and once that is in there nice and secured, we'll connect our positive terminal just like so. And then we'll secure this down using the same 10 millimeter socket and just make sure it's nice and tight. It does not need to be overkill. We'll connect the negative terminal and we'll secure this down as well. And we'll fire it up. Perfect. And move this light. We'll put our cover back into place and there's four rubber grommets right in top of the intake manifold where these little nipples go into place just line everything up perfect and just press all four corners down and there we have it let's fire it up this had a code p0315 which is for the crankshaft positioning sensor we tried to have the crankshaft positioning sensor re learned and fell and then we tried to replace it and we'll see if it'll work more than likely we will still have to do the relearn process on this crank but for now everything is up and functional check engine light is still on i thought the battery was going to clear it and this is just like a 20 dollars scanner from autozone nothing fancy just need something to read the code as at 315 315 315 permanent stored and pending permanent stored yeah, and pending so we'll erase these and check engine light is still on so hopefully now the crankshaft positioning sensor is reading and it just needs to be reprogrammed um i hope so damn those things we'll finish off that video with the reprogramming and let me see sometimes the cars don't erase if the vehicle is on so i'm going to erase the codes right now i have the key on the on position all right so everything is there we'll erase the codes read the codes looks like the check engine light is still on yeah all three codes are still there so hopefully 
this reprogramming will fix it and we'll go from there i'm here at the shop this guy has a 15 dollars scanner 15 dollar 15 thousand dollar scanner and this can help us out does a good job hopefully we're able to reprogram it if not Watercraft, here we come. Yeah? No? It died. It died. <laughs> P0135 is clear. Hell yeah, so we had to replace the crankshaft positioning sensor, do the relearn. The first time we tried to do the relearn, it was not having it, it was not reading it correctly. Uh, and installed a new one, and it worked. I swear to God, they're so fun, man. I was hella sliding right there. <laughs> Woo -wee. And I'm gonna grab the scanner. We need to do a drive cycle, and this one should be ready for smog. All right, and I guess it is true. The only way to clear the P0315 is by either A, replacing the crankshaft positioning sensor, then doing the idle relearn, I'm sorry, crankshaft positioning relearn, or doing the crankshaft positioning first, uh, the relearn, to see if that takes care of that, and if it does not, then replace the crankshaft positioning sensor, then do the relearn. Right now, it still has a permanent, but before it used to have three codes it just has this one permanent used to have the p0315 for stored permanent and pending pending is when it's detecting permanent stored is when it detected and it's still stored in the system uh, but more than likely the problem has been fixed pending is the one you want to worry about uh, but to be able to smog a vehicle here in California, you cannot pass with a permanent. You can only pass with a pending and a stored, which is odd, but a permanent, you cannot pass. So we need to complete all the monitors for the drive cycle, turn this vehicle off a couple of times. Hopefully this permanent goes away. Once this permanent is cleared and all these monitors except for the EVAP are complete, it's ready for smog. There we have it. I guess it's true. The only way to clear it, crankshaft position and relearn. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.